Beauties, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I am finally sharing something that I have been playing with and experimenting with off and on since the summer of 2019. So I am calling this a birthday suit solid body wash. And so this is a self-preserving solid body wash bar that is based on a now discontinued Lush product that they called Naked Shower Gel. This formulation is really versatile and fun. As I've been working on it, I have made it in a ton of different colors and scents, and I've used a ton of different molds, and it is just really versatile and super fun to play with. The base of this solid body wash is a combination of sodium stearate, which is saponified stearic acid, and either propylene glycol or propanidiol 1,3. If you'd like to learn more about this, make sure you are reading the blog post and checking out the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia entry on sodium stearate. One place that you have probably encountered this ingredient combination before is in a lot of deodorants or antiperspirants. Many of them use this combination to create the base. And then to that, they add the things that make you smell nice. There are also quite a few melt and pour soap bases that use this combination of ingredients. I've linked to a few of them in the blog post, which is as always linked in the description box below this video. Those two ingredients make up over 60% of this formulation. To that, I have added some surfactants. So that's what, you know, makes it an awesome, bubbly, lovely body wash, a little bit of color and a little bit of scent. And that is pretty much it. Thanks to the high humectant content of these bars, the high surfactant content and the high pH, these bars are self-preserving. I've had some of these kicking around in my shower for about 18 months and I have not noticed any signs of spoilage so that's pretty cool. If you would like to learn more about self-preservation and self-preserving cosmetics I have linked to a awesome two-part blog series from Botanical Formulations in the blog post. I really recommend checking that out. It is super interesting. Making this is really simple. It's mostly a mix, melt, add the fragrance and then quickly pour the product into your mold. As always, if you'd like to learn more about this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. There's a lot of great information in there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients, links to further sort of related reading and yeah, a whole lot more. But uh, I think that's enough. So let's go get Sunsy. Okay, so we're going to begin by combining three of our ingredients in this beaker. So you'll need five grams of cocomide propyl betaine, 22.145 grams of either propanidiol 1,3 or propylene glycol. The choice is up to you. Propylene glycol is certainly the less expensive option. And 0.2 grams citric acid. So up next, we are going to color this mixture with a blend of two different water-soluble dyes. I've got FDNC Red 40 here and Direct Orange 39. These are both from Yellow Bee and they were both a gift. So later on, I will be using this Peach Prosecco Fragrance Oil. And so I want this bar to have kind of a peachy color, which is kind of like an orangey, uh, pinky color. So yeah, so I'm looking to kind of blend these two. I'm going to pop on a pair of gloves so I don't have colorful fingers for the rest of the day. Technically, we need 0 0.005 grams of dye, but I, my scale is not precise enough to measure that, especially if we're dividing it between two different colors. So I've got these glass stirring rods here and I'm just going in and picking up the tiniest amount of dye. You can see there's really not much on there at all. We'll give that a stir in here and let it bloom. Okay. Looking pretty good. Uh, so I'm just gonna pop this in my dishes bin and then I'm going to add even less of the orange if I can manage it. Just so that it's more of a peachy color than a pink. Okay, I think that, that's pretty good. So our last two heated phase ingredients are our solid ones. So we have 12 and a half grams of sodium cocoa sulfate in this little dish here. You can see that it's the tiny little sticks. And then we also need 10 grams of sodium stearate. 
and this is our hardening ingredient. Now, once this gets kicked up, you really don't wanna be inhaling it, so I'm going to put on my dust mask and then add both of these to the beaker, and I'm going to be whisking with a wire whisk until the mixture has been thoroughly wetted out. It definitely won't be smooth because this is still gonna be nice and lumpy, uh, but it will be relatively you know, uniform. Okay, with everything wetted out, I'm taking off my dust mask. You can see that, yeah, this has combined nicely. For the first little while, they were going, oh my gosh, like there's no way all this dry stuff is gonna incorporate, but it does. And when we get closer and give it a stir, you can definitely still see the, the lumpiness of the surfactants in there. So to melt everything together, we're going to use the oven. So to that end, I've got a cookie sheet here. And I'm going to go pop this whole setup in my oven at about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I did experiment with using a water bath and it just was infuriatingly slow. Like an incredible, like refilling the water bath levels of slow to get everything to melt together. Whereas this uh, is a lot easier, um, a lot sort of simpler. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to go pop this in my oven until it has melted and uh, then we will come back, add our fragrance, pour it into our mold and that's pretty much it. So once everything is melted, you can remove your uh, tray from your oven and give it a whisk. And of course, remember everything is really hot. So we are going to move quite quickly now we need to add our fragrance and then we're going to pour it into the mold uh, to set up. So because this is so hot, we are going to take some precautions to protect our scale. So I've got sort of a glass coaster here. I'm gonna use that as a heat kind of protectant and then the sort of branded beer mat to protect the glass thing from the heat. Yeah, tear, pop the oven mitts back on to pop this over here. Tear again. And then for fragrance, 0.15 grams of fragrance. I'm using peach Prosecco from Brambleberry. For a mold, this is my kind of fun little uh, bee and honeycomb mold. going to leave this to cool and to set up. So once the bars have started to pull away from the side of your mold, you can unmold them. Bring that a little closer. So yeah, you can see that this is starting to pull away a bit. So that's great. So I'm just going to kind of ease the mold away from the bars a bit. And then just kind of pop it up from the bottom. pretty easy peasy. I think I got the peach color pretty good. It, they smell amazing. You can see you've got this kind of neat translucent effect. Yeah, they're, they're really neat. So once we're at this point in time, I do kind of like to leave the bars for a day or two before using them, but that's about it. And you can see that the uh, product really works well in sort of more finely detailed molds. You can see we've got like every little every little stripe on that bee's little orange bottom. Uh, so yeah, just, oh. These are so fun to make and a great way to uh, 
make use of more detailed molds. So for a bit of a lather demo here, I've got a loofah and a bowl of water and one of the bars that you know, I made a while ago so we can see it in action. So the lather on this is really good. See, like heaps and heaps and heaps of gorgeous, fluffy, rich, luscious bubbles. It's just, oh, it's, it's good fun. It is ultra bubbly and uh, yeah, really, really lovely. And there we go. So we just made a really lovely, very fun, self-preserving birthday suit body wash bar. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video for a lot more information, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy all the ingredients and a whole lot more. And if you would like to see a video showing what happens if you uh, downwards adjust the pH of this formulation, uh, consider becoming a patron. I did an exclusive video on that for my $10 and up patrons, and that is available right now along with quite a lot of other exclusive videos uh, on my Patreon page, which I'll link in the description box below. But yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Thank you.